I want to talk to you today about the features and benefits that are available for the operator through the advanced display monitor for the CAT skid steer and compact track loaders. Up to 50 individual operator codes can be entered into the display, which provides the machine security, but along with that capability comes the ability to customize the machine performance parameters, background colors, languages, or gauge layout styles to suit the operator's preference, application needs, or experience level. Let's take a closer look at how you can take advantage of the power that's provided in this display. The user management menu is best utilized by an owner, an equipment manager, or fleet manager. This is where the security system feature can be activated for the machine. Once activated, a valid four, five, or six digit passcode will have to be entered before the machine can start. The security feature can only be deactivated by your CAT dealer. Activating the system is easy. Simply scroll to the enable security selection and depress the enter button. Once the enter button is depressed, you will be asked to confirm if you indeed want to enable the security system. After confirmation, you will be reminded that the default user code will be 1111 at the next key cycle. With the security system enabled, a valid passcode will be required. We're going to enter the default master code 1 1 1 1 and then depress enter. When we were to press the enter button, it recognizes us as having entered the master code, which will enable some extra functionality and monitoring that is not available if you enter only an operator code. The master code should be changed to a unique but memorable four, five, or six digit code that the operator desires. We'll show you how to do that in a few moments. First, we'll want to revisit the display settings menu. Here we'll be able to adjust many of the settings that we showed you previously to match the master code holder's preference. In this case, we might want to change the background color to any of the selections that we showed you previously. We'll also want to scroll down and find a parameter that was not previously visible to us because the security system was not enabled. This would be the grace period selection. This is the amount of time once the key switch is turned off that will elapse before the security system automatically reactivates. The choices are 15 minutes, 30 minutes, one hour, two hour, and four hours, with 30 minutes that is shown here being the factory default. If at any time during the grace period the machine is restarted, the grace period timer is reset and begins counting again for the selected grace period. The operator can also choose to activate the security system immediately by selecting the button below the green check mark when prompted at the security system lockout screen that appears when the key switch is moved to the off position. Making no selection or selecting the red X will start the timer for the grace period you have chosen. Now let's update the master code. The master code change can be made in the user management screen. By depressing the button below the worker icon with the I, this shows the current values. You can see the master code name, which can be edited, the code that is currently listed for the master code holder, machine hours that have been used, fuel that has been used, any events or diagnostics that were recorded while the master code holder was logged in. And you can reset those values as well. So if I wanted to edit the master code name, I could do so here. If I wanted to edit the master code values, I would depress the button below the pencil and do that here. You can also add users to the machine configuration list. In this case, we'll go below the construction worker with the plus sign and we'll enter a new name. We're going to enter JP. We're going to assign JP a code. In this case, we'll pick one, three, five, seven and then confirm. If I wanted to add additional users, I could do similarly by pressing again the construction worker with the plus sign. I have the capability of adding 49 additional users 
in addition to the master code holder. If at any time an operator, say JP, leaves our employment, you could simply locate the icon with the X symbol, and then you can remove them from the capability of using this machine. You can easily remove his profile and his code so that he can no longer start this machine. Are you sure you want to remove JP? Yes. His profile and user code no longer appear in the menu and he will no longer be able to start this machine by entering that user code. For users who do remain with the company, the master code holder can easily monitor the accumulated hours for each operator, accumulated fuel usage for each operator, and see any event or diagnostic codes that may have occurred while the particular operator was logged in and using the machine by simply locating the worker icon with the I and depressing the button below. If you don't have multiple operators, you could use this system in a different manner. Instead of user codes, you could assign different codes to different attachments. As an example, we could add a broom. And we'll assign a code to the broom. As an example, we'll select one, three, five, seven, nine. This would allow you to track the hours and fuel burn accrued while you're using a certain work tool attachment. If you are using the broom on a regular basis, we could again go into that selection and check on the broom. You would be able to see the machine hours accrued and the fuel usage accrued while you are using the attachment. If you wanted to reset any of these values, you could do so here with the reset button. This is just another way to help you manage your business more effectively so that you are monitoring your cost and charging appropriately for a particular job. You can also use it for maintenance so that you know when to check the bristles on your broom, for example, in order to keep your broom in optimal working order. You can see the many ways you can take advantage of the advanced display monitor as it allows you to better utilize your equipment, manage your workforce, your work tools, and to monitor your owning and operating cost. Experience for yourself all the Advanced Display Monitor has to offer by contacting your local CAT dealer today.